Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we're going to be doing another segment of Every Card Has a Story Behind It. So, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know what this segment's about, I talk about certain cards that I have in my collection that hold sentimental value to me. Uh, they may be commons, they may be expensive cards, it doesn't matter, but they all hold some type of value to me and mean a lot to me in some way, shape, or form. They have a story behind them, so to speak. So today for you guys, we're talking about a group of very cheap cards that probably nobody even knew they even existed, unless you watch Rank, rank, rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! But um, they're cards that indirectly... They hold some type of sentimental value to me. And that is the fable, the fabled, a card called the fabled Mizutroji. Worm Ugly. Cause he ugly. Uh, Naturious Sunflower. And our Gen X Cruiser, cr Crusher. What do these four cards have? that make them sentimental to me. What in heaven's name <laughs> of anything could these cards mean? And you may think, Seto, you pulled these DT cards out of your butt. Well, first off, they're DT cards, which is kind of cool. So they have DT rarity, but I doubt anybody, except maybe one Worm Ugly, because he look ugly. Um, nobody, you know, plays with these cards. They're just junk, they're trash. But they're DT, they're do Terminal 3 cards. Isn't that right? I believe they're do Terminal 3. Yeah, Dual Terminal 3. So the reason these mean sentimental value for me is because they were actually... Um, it's because of my girlfriend, who I've been with for going on f four years now, three and a half plus years um, at the time of me doing this video. So for the last three and a half years, we've just been together and probably are going to get engaged eventually soon. And because of that, um, these cards have hold value for that because it's pretty much, they've hold sentimental value because of the early days of our relationship or the early years of our relationship, quote unquote. So <clears throat> every year for the last, what is it, three years, we have gone to a convention in Washington, D.C. called, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart at the moment. It's called MAGFest, excuse me. So MAGFest is held in Washington, D.C. It's a gaming convention. And for the life of me, every time I go, I can't find a single Yu-Gi-Oh! player that, or Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, site that does Yu-Gi-Oh! I find Magic, I find other games, but I cannot find Yu-Gi-Oh! And then, the first year that we were together, we went to MAGFest back in, what was it, 2000 and... What was it? 17? No, excuse me, 2000, oh my gosh, 2015. What am I saying, 2017? So in 2015, excuse me, we went to MAGFest. We had only been together for like a couple months. And we went there, and it was fun. But I found a dual terminal. Somebody found it for me. And I was like, oh dear gosh, I've never played a dual terminal before. I never had. And I was like, sweet. And I found out, oh, it's a dollar to play a dual terminal. Maybe I'll get something good. And what do I get? I get our Gen X Crusher, and I'm like, this card sucks, but playing the dual terminal is pretty fun, and it was pretty fun doing it, and my girlfriend, if you know on the dual terminals, there's a button to draw like a certain card, like, um, uh, like you have to press it really fast to like get a good card, and she would always press it. So she would like, I'd be like, okay, ready, ready, press. And she would go, ba -ba 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 like press, press. I was like, pound it, honey, pound it. I know you guys are having dirty thoughts right now, but don't. But <laughs> I kept telling her like to pound it. That's what we do all the time. So we would do that. So we got to play a couple times. And one of the cards I kept from that was Argenx Crusher because it was like the best card I guess I got out of it. But I kept this card. And then in 2016, so this is from 2015, in 2016 we went again. And um, uh, I started playing again, and I got to play Dual Terminal again, and I got Natcheria Sunflower. So each year they bring this Dual Terminal around and I play it. In 2017, I got Worm Ugly, uh, which was awesome. So we got Worm Ugly, and it was so, it was, I was like, oh yes, a card that 
has a f good name. Finally, something from this dual terminal for the last three years that at least has a good name. I, I literally think they took all the good cards out of there and left the trash dual terminal cards in there because literally there is nothing good in that dual terminal, I swear. But Worm Ugly, good name, funny name, whatever. Uh, so that was from 2017. In 2018, I got Fabled, this past year actually, I got Fabled Mits Trojo, which looks kind of cool. It kind of looks like an old, weird, wizard, magician, fabled guy. But yeah, they hold sentimental value because my girlfriend, A, got them for me. Uh, there's some other cards that I have in my collection that my girlfriend got for me. Uh, but these hold a sentimental value because every time we go to MAGFest, we just have a blast because it's just like, go have fun, get drunk, play games all day long, all night, and just have a blast. And that's why we love, I love playing the dual terminal with her. She hates me spending money on it, but I'm like, honey, let's just spend three bucks and play three dual terminal games. And that's what we do every year. So I have fun playing it with her and it's awesome. So that's why these very cards that probably mean nothing to nobody, they have sentimental value to me because they remind me of some fun times I've had with my girlfriend. But guys, till next time. Take care, have fun dueling, good luck dueling. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video here, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.